Hey netties, good afternoon. It's Monday. I got a mess in here that I need to clean up. So don't pay that any attention. Anyways, you guys haven't seen me on this vlog in a while. And it's because I have been working on some other stuff and uh, getting some of Hamlet's old, um, some of his old content. Sorry y'all, trying to zoom out. Trying to get some of Hamlet's old content um, edited and ready to go. And so, um, I haven't been, we haven't been vlogging that much, but we really want to get into more. But there's such a saturation of people's vlogs that are a lot more, have more views because they've been doing it for quite some time. So we're really trying to figure out what, um, what to do to, you know, increase our viewership and things like that. So we're trying to figure out what we need to do to set ourselves apart from just an average vlog channel. Just We don't want to just be average. We want to be uh, more than that, but still be ourselves. That's the thing. So anyway, um, about a month ago or three weeks ago, I don't know if it's been a month or three weeks, but it's somewhere between there. I started, um, if you notice on YouTube, there's been a huge, um, an, another huge influx of people doing like the keto diet. And so... I've done a low carb diet before I did the Atkins diet about 10 years ago or maybe a little less than that and it was very successful for me but um, what people don't tell you is sometimes when you don't manage properly you can gain that weight back double and so I did that and then I did Weight Watchers and that worked for me as well and a little bit after I did Weight Watchers I got married and then I was happy eating and then I got pregnant and I was eating for two and then I went through a lot with my pregnancy and my after uh, pregnancy delivery and so the weight just kind of stayed there and it's been here for about four years because she'll be four and so um, I decided to try keto and it's so far I've lost about 12 pounds which is good but I don't feel like I eat enough fats and I don't eat enough um, I eat the car the carb count. I guess I'm doing kind of lazy keto because the carb amount I stay under 20 grams of carb carbs. That's all I really focus on though. I don't focus on anything else. But one thing I need to focus on is increasing the fats so that I can really make sure that I'm in ketosis and it's and it's uh, using the fats instead of the carbs to uh, as fuel. So anyway, I said that to say I've been to the grocery store this morning and I bought some stuff that I want to share with you guys. So. I went to Sprouts because I love Sprouts and I got um, some New York strip. I also got some free range uh, chicken thighs. Hope they're boneless. Yeah, they're boneless. I got some chicken sausage as well because I've been looking for chicken sausage. I see people talk about it um, and eating it and I could never find any uncooked. So this is uncooked. I would always find the cooked kind. So I'm probably going to do something with this here shortly with some chicken and maybe some spinach and some cheese like this basically how this thing works and and you just want to make sure you're getting you know the right amount of everything in it I got some tofu uh, the soft tofu because it makes things creamy and smooth but this is for Lourdes um, in her diet I blend up all of her food and so the tofu is what I use to for the protein source because it has a good amount of protein in it and um, I don't put meat because meat is just hard to break down in a blender. And then I think it just at this point, her being almost four, it's going to be hard to digest um, certain meat. So I'm not going to worry with that until she starts eating more by mouth. I got a head of cabbage, um, some romaine lettuce so that I can make salad. I saw another uh, YouTuber who she does awesome meal planning. And if I can remember her name. I'm going to link her channel below because she does some awesome meal planning and I saw her using uh, romaine lettuce to make her salad and so I got some romaine lettuce some fresh spinach which will probably go with the chicken I got some butcher shop bacon um, just looking at the facts on this the bacon um, sorry guys I know that looks crazy it's not really focused but the bacon doesn't have um, any sugar in it and it's zero grams of carbs so that's why i decided to go with this one and it was really quite expensive um i saw another youtuber talking about monster cheese cheese is a big thing on keto but the right types of cheeses and this monster cheese was on clearance for three dollars so i thought well let me try it today 
and um let's see i got a few little small little spices garlic powder and like an all-purpose seasoning i'm gonna try this bulletproof vanilla shortbread bar I, I am not a person that eats stuff like this i never eat I, I hate snack cakes and bars and stuff but i saw it had collagen in it and so i thought well i'm gonna try it and the the carb count is pretty high um like if you eat the whole thing you're gonna mess yourself up for the day like the carb count is I think it's 13, 13 grams of carbs. Yeah, 13 grams of carbs, but it does have five grams of di dietary fiber, which brings it down to eight. But I figure if I eat half, that'll be just four. So that'll be good for that. I also got these spicy veggie chicken burgers. Uh, they are a plant-based a plant -based sandwich or a plant-based chicken patty. Uh, it's not real chicken. I did try vegan for a while and I don't mind the food. So I got those because they're four grams of carbs and it's four grams of uh, fiber. There we go. Four grams of fiber. And so essentially this is zero grams of carbs, which is good. I got some asparagus, um, like an English cucumber because I love these. Those are some avocados in there. And of course, broccoli because you eat a lot of broccoli on this thing. Um, some lime and lemon juice. I use this for different stuff, so that's why I got it. I really don't have a specific purpose today to tell you. And some coconut cream. Um, I use the coconut cream to make uh, smoothies So for the fat. So the coconut cream, I'll take that. Some strawberries because they're pretty much keto approved. And some blueberries and I'll throw some spinach in there, the coconut cream, and I'll blend it all up to make a smoothie and then drink that sometimes as a meal replacement. And I'll show sometime when I do that. I don't plan on changing my channel to a keto channel, but I am trying to do the lifestyle. So I figure, you know, I can share it with you. And then once you blend all that up, it makes a really nice and creamy smoothie. Sometimes I'll put half or heavy whipping cream in there instead of coconut cream um, for the fats, because you really got to get your fats up with this diet. And I'll top it with whip topping, which is uh, not that many carbs and it gives you a good amount of fat. So that's what I got the coconut cream for. It makes it really good. And then sometimes I make mock pina coladas. <laughs> like I'll do strawberry and coconut and just blend it up. And it's good. So that's what I've been doing. I'm about to prepare me some lunch because I usually, I've been doing the intermittent fasting as well. And I usually don't eat until 11 and it's 11.45. And um, so I need to make something. It's probably going to be this chicken sausage and um, like I said, spinach and some cheese. So I'll do that and then um, I have some work to do today. I went to a blogging expo uh, this past weekend and I had such a good time there and it was really inspiring. So it's inspired me to get my a ASS up and do some work because I, I'm just, sometimes I'm just sitting around here twiddling my thumbs trying to figure out what to do next and there's plenty to be done. So I'll check you guys in a minute when I start preparing my breakfast. Uh hey guys, so this is what I'm working with. This is uh, my chicken sausage. I'm going to use this Philadelphia Craft uh, Triple Cheddar Creamy Melt because it does make the food really creamy. Um, so I'm going to use this as the cheese for my recipe. Here's about a handful of spinach that I just rinsed. And I'm about to cut the stems off because I'm not a stem person. So I'm going to cut those off. Um, I'll be cooking the dish in Kerrygold butter. It's another thing that's keto um, approved. You want to have grass fed butter. So um, I'm putting that in there as the fat to get this going. So the fat from the butter and the cheese hopefully will give me a good amount. And I bought this all-purpose seasoning that I will uh, season the chicken sausage with. But I'm assuming that the chicken sausage is seasoned already. Yeah, it does say here, which is so small, it says here that it's seasoned with uh, sage, just like regular sausage and other spices. So maybe I will... Um, cook it first and then see how it goes and if it still needs seasoning then I'll throw in the all-purpose seasoning so that's what I'm doing now
guys. So now I'm melting some butter. And I probably got the skillet too hot because it's browning the butter. And I didn't want it to be browned, but that's okay. Yeah, it smells like cooked butter. <laughs> Which I guess that's what it's doing. And now I'm getting out the chicken sausage. I think I'm just going to do half, um, half the package because it's very thin. Um, I didn't buy much because I didn't want to not like it. So I just bought a little. But I'm going to just work that around in there. See if I can get some smells. If I can get a good smell, that will tell me if I need to season it or not. If I can smell some seasonings. And all I smell is butter, really. So it doesn't smell bad. It's just I don't smell any like true, true, true seasoning in here. So we're gonna add some stuff. We're gonna add some stuff because I wanted to have some flavor. And like I said before, I got this little all-purpose seasoning from Sprouts. It's teeny tiny, but I mean, it should do the job. So I figured since it's all-purpose, it should be, um, it should be decent. Yeah, it's giving it like a little green. Let's hope that it's, let's hope it's good. I'm telling you, eating right, I don't mind doing it, but I want this mess to taste good. <laughs> Called it a mess. I want this stuff to taste good. I don't want it to be bland. Like, you should still be able to have some flavor when you eat right. You should not have to sacrifice flavor to look good or to feel good or whatever your goal is. Um, mine is to look like I did when I was 17, so... <laughs> Comment down below what your goal is. One of my cousins, I told her that I wanted to make myself look how I did when I was 17. And she said she wasn't interested in looking like that. I'm like, well, speak for yourself, honey, because I want to look like that. I, I'm not going to even lie to you. I wish I could insert a picture. Um, I just was in better shape. I mean, I was 17. I could just eat foolishly and, you know, it didn't matter. So... I'm going to add a little salt. I'm going to add a little salt as well. Not a lot, just a little because um, salt is important on this diet as well. Um, a lot of people end up giving up because they have that feeling of weakness and sickness. And the salt will help with that. The salt and certain types of elect electrolytes and broth, things like that will help you. So if you're starting out and you're feeling weak and like tired and you have a headache and you just don't feel like doing anything. I felt like that the first couple of days, but I sipped on broth a lot and I would just eat some something salty and it actually would really help. So I added that just so I can get the right amounts of what I need so I won't have that crazy feeling in the middle of the day, especially since my meals are far and few between. So now that that's done, it's basically done. Um, it didn't take long to to cook that. I mean, I'm still gonna let it cook a little bit, but I'm making it a little well in the middle for the spinach because you know spinach, it doesn't take very long to cook. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit more butter in the middle um, so that that spinach won't stick to my pan. This pan claims to be non-stick. It's a Wolfgang Puck set, and it and it has done the opposite of everything it ever said it would do. <laughs> so I don't want that to be stuck there. I mean, the spinach does still have a little water on it, so that will that will help too. But and you know, usually when you have spinach, when you cook spinach, it looks like you're cooking a million leaves. But like one of my friends said, if you really want to get a good serving of spinach, you, you better cook like a football field size amount because that stuff wilts down to nothing. And it's true, it does. But I think this will be enough for what I need today. So I'm just gonna let that saute for a minute. 
and then we'll top it with some of that cheese and hopefully we have made something delicious so I'll see you guys when I have a finished product okay guys so this is what I have now I have Top this with a little bit of cheese. Um, the serving size in the package is a fourth of a cup, which would still be less than one gram of carb. Um, this is not a fourth of a cup. This may be maybe an eighth. Um, it looks like a lot because I'm so close to the pan, but it's not a fourth of a cup. I thought this would be enough. I mean, I don't, it doesn't have to be overly cheesy. I like cheese, but I'm not like a cheese fanatic. So this is what I have. I'm going to let that melt down a little bit more in the center here, just in this area right here. Um, and then I'll just put it on a plate and eat it like it is. Hopefully it's good. I will update you and let you know if it was something that you should try. But I hope you guys try it. And if you do decide to try it, comment down below. You can season it how you want to season it. There's no formal recipe. Everything that I plan to show you guys on our channel probably never will have a formal recipe, but I will try my best to answer the questions to the best of my ability to give you some kind of guide to go by but I'm not a chef and I don't intend to be one but my husband and I we do like to cook and when he comes back home um, right now he's still at sea but when he comes back home he'll be cooking a lot and he'll like to share these recipes that we make and so I know that people may have questions and we'll try our best to help out or write down about how much we put of you know seasonings and things like that Hey kids, look who's home. Lolo's home. Can you say hi? How are you? Good. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. The TV's kind of loud, so let's turn it down. We're, this TV stays on the same channel, y'all. Nobody never changes the channel, which is crazy. But anyways, I'm going to go in the kitchen real quick, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so I'm coming in here because I'm about to make my next meal of the day. You know, earlier I got those spicy chicken veggie burger things. I'm gonna make those, but then I'm also gonna make some bacon to go on them, which is crazy because one thing is like plant protein and then the other one is, and the other one is bacon. So that's what I'm making now. And I have this one little last piece of I have this little sauce that I made right here that is avocado and mayo because avocado is a good fat but I don't necessarily like avocado by itself all the time. I like it to kind of have a whipped texture so I whipped it with some mayo, some lemon juice and a little bit of salt and pepper and it was just organic mayo so I'll top that with that and then I have um, one last piece of this uh, Joseph's flat oat bread and whole wheat bread. It's really thin bread and um, it doesn't have a lot of carbs in it at all. It's one more piece and I probably half it. So this is what it has. It has eight grams of total carbs, four grams of fiber. So it's four net carbs. So I will half this to make it like sandwich size. So it'll end up being two, gra two grams of carbs that will be in that sandwich. So I'll have that. I will probably put on some of this um, monster cheese that I bought earlier today. We talked about earlier. It is uh, zero grams of carbs, which is awesome. And what else am I going to put on there? I said I was going to put bacon on there. So there's the bacon from earlier. Unless I have some bacon already open, and I don't think that I do. And I think I'm going to put on just a little bit of romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce and maybe some... Uh, spinach or I might cut up some cucumber because I love cucumber so yeah I'll just tear a piece a couple of pieces of these off wash them up real good it says two cups is three grams of carbs I probably just have a, a leaf so that probably won't even register as carbs and that's it and oh yeah I got a cucumber that I'm gonna chop up and like uh, sandwich thin and I'll put that on there so that's what I'm having okay so what I've done so far was cut up these cucumbers so I don't have to do them later in the week. I went ahead and uh, did two leaves of lettuce and took the little hard spine piece off of those. There's my cheese. There's the patty. Cut my bread in half. There's the sandwich sliced uh, cucumber. 
and then those I'll just save for maybe other sandwiches and some salad because I'm going to do salad tomorrow. And then I took two pieces of bacon and made them into four. And that's what I have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put that bacon in the oven for about 10 minutes. And halfway through, we'll cook this patty um, just with some light spray on both sides as suggested. So I'm back in the kitchen with my sous chef, Lourdes. Say hey. <laughs> She's not as excited as I am. All right, so I have my Wolfgang Puck skillet. I talked about the skillet bad earlier, but I pull the skillet out all the time. And I'm going to spray it with some avocado oil. I just got this from Sprouts, not today, but on another uh, grocery visit. And it also has um, no calories. It has uh, zero grams of carbs. It tells you to put, uh, the serving size is a, a third of a second spray. I don't really know what that means. So I just do a good go around like that. And I feel like that's good enough. So that's what I, okay, my timer just went off, but I had already flipped it because as you can see, it's stuck. And I added some of that Kerrygold butter because it's just not doing good on that avocado spray. And I also added some of that all-purpose seasoning that I had earlier because it was really good. So um, that's what I have there. I'm just going to let it cook on this side. And I turned down the um, heat a little bit. It's supposed to be on medium, but medium may have been too high or the skillet may have been I let it sit for too long, so that was our dilemma. So I'm gonna let this finish cooking and then I'll assemble it and show you guys what I came up with. Okay guys, so what I've done is spread some of my avocado mayo on my flatbread. And then now I have put my piece of monster cheese on top of my patty so that it's nice and melty. While that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and put these cucumber slices on here because like I told you, I love cucumber. Again, I was saying I like cucumbers on sandwiches. I'm having memory card trouble, so I'm going to hurry up show you guys me putting this lettuce on there. Um, like I said, this is two leaves of lettuce. I want to get a lot of greens in where I can, so that's what that is. That's what I have so far, and I'm going to grab the patty. There's my bacon. I forgot all about that. Right out of the oven, I placed my patty on top of the cucumber. I'll stick the bacon on there, and then we'll have a complete sandwich, guys. Again, comment down below if this is something that you would want to try, and I'll try to, you know, answer any questions or maybe leave the product information if I can. I don't know if you can find these in all your local grocery stores. Some of these things are far and few between because I looked up on, like, their bread and things like that. But I will answer.